Now, if you ask me where I stand personally, I'm pretty pro-life. If you ask me where I think the country is politically, I would argue probably the first trimester or Dobbs 15 weeks. Any Republican that would ever take a position, and the president was clear in his statement on this too, any Republican that would take a position, no exceptions for rape, incest, or the mother of his life, that is political suicide. Yeah, it is. Any Republican that calls for a flat-out ban politically, I'm talking politically now, that would be outright suicide. If you're going to take that extreme position, you are going to lose votes. Finally, Hannity admits it. After years of pretending to be a hardliner on abortion, he's admitting that the current Republican position on the issue is political suicide. This is where we are now, where Republicans all over the country are taking hardline, no exceptions positions on abortion. Despite an overwhelming majority of people not in alignment. In fact, support for abortion is at an all-time high. He's it's, running to be president of the United States of America. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking, I asked you specifically and about the pronoun. You, and then I said why he was wrong to act as if the GOP is the party of the majority opinion. They are not. They're taking minority positions and running with them. Pro-life is in a minority position. It is, actually. What, what are you going to talk about the fact that it's like 48 percent? No, people I'm going to talk about... The 69% is the highest that's ever been recorded that now support abortion, at least through the first trimester. First trimester? Yeah. But they can't admit that. They can't accept it. They have to pretend like a nationwide abortion ban, which is where they are moving. They're pretending like people want that. Their own voters don't even want that. And you have Trump going out and saying, I did this. This is my doing. I'm the person who helped overturn Roe versus Wade. He thanks the six Supreme Court justices who gutted people's reproductive rights and then makes a ludicrous claim about how babies are killed after birth. It implies this happens all over the place, all the time. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and in fact demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. They wanted it ended. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth, and that's exactly what it is. The baby is born, the baby is executed after birth is unacceptable. And almost everyone agrees with that. It is a right-wing conspiracy theory that the Republicans run with to scare people. It makes them uncomfortable, and that's what they try to exploit. Who would oppose killing a baby, right? I guess unless you're a Republican and you want them to starve because you've got the social safety net programs that they rely on. But hey, and that discomfort is where they continue to try to make gains to restrict people's abortion rights. As Christians and as pro-lifers, we believe that life begins at the moment of conception. And science also proves this, regardless the circumstances. And I know there's a lot of pro-lifers or a lot of Catholics or Christians that say, I'm for, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the pro-life movement. I'm against abortion. But in cases of rape, no. We must be pro-life and no matter the circumstances because, because abortion will never undo a rape. Ever. You now have Republicans across the country arguing that abortion shouldn't even be legal in cases of rape and incest. That was just understood as commonly accepted nationwide, but now it's on the chopping block. That's just how fringe they're getting with this crusade. And one day after Trump made those comments about how he did this, he's responsible and the issue should be left to the states, the Arizona Supreme Court rules that a law from 1864 completely outlawing abortion is valid and should go into effect. What are we doing here? Do you think any law regarding people's health or their choices from 1864, a time while slavery existed and before the light bulb, should guide people's personal decisions about their own bodies? Thankfully, the Arizona Attorney General said they're not going to enforce that law because why would you? To any rational person, that makes zero sense. Let's go back to the electoral consequences, though, because the GOP can't really hide what they're doing anymore. It's losing them elections. Multiple red states, through ballot initiatives and referendums, have taken action to protect abortion rights because that's where a majority of the country is. Sure, if some people in red states might not want a third trimester abortion, okay, don't get one. But that's a difficult decision for the people who need one. But when you leave it to the states, what we're seeing is things like Arizona. What we're seeing 
seeing is things like Florida and Texas and across the South where abortion is almost completely illegal in that entire region of the country. What is someone supposed to do? And with more and more states pushing for zero exceptions, that is unconscionable. And then there's South Carolina where a state legislator introduced a bill that could impose the death penalty if someone got an abortion. When you leave it to the states, you have people like this who really don't belong in government, but are driven by some psychotic interpretation of their own religion, seeking to enforce that on every other person. Thankfully, that won't become law for now, but it's a dangerous sign of where things could go. When you leave it up to the states, you have people who, again, should be nowhere close to the levers of power, making decisions like this and trying to introduce laws that hurt people for simply trying to make a medical decision. And at the end of the day, it is a political loser. We know that Republicans know it and they're openly admitting it. Most Americans do not want women or doctors imprisoned when it comes to the issue of abortion. And when you have state legislators like one in my home state who are advocating for the death penalty for a rape victim who decides not to carry the child, then that is a political loser. So Republicans used to say this is a state issue. Now it got to the states and you got crazy legislators proposing things like the death penalty. Most Americans most Americans, you can criticize Roe versus Wade all you want, but most Americans had come to some peace that this is what the law is. Trump is fine playing that game because he thinks it'll rile up his base. He's playing a dangerous, and I hope, losing game.